hey, thanks for joining on this little journey. The problem is I don't even know what this journey is. You should do a moto vlog, they said. Uh, a moto vlog? I, I, I'm not even sure really what that is. But all the cool kids are doing it. All the cool kids are on the YouTubes. So we'll give it a try. This is it. Video number one. Let's get the beast started here. There we go. Oh, a finely tuned machine it is. My wife's bike, she got the nice new bike. I have the beast. Off we go. I suppose your channel should be about something. A channel. How do you have a channel with one video? <sighs> okay, video number one, as I said. I really don't have much of a thought about what this is all going to be about. This video is really just testing the camera and the audio. See how all that works out since I've never done this before. I figure we'll go do a little tour around the lake. Apologize for the foggy looking skies. Pretty much the entire west is on fire. Whew. Smoke is so bad. It's the mouth of the North Fork of the Payette River. I can't even see across the lake. I don't know if I'll say I've been a long time rider. This bike is a 2005. I had a bike before that, but didn't ride it very much. Got rid of that. Got this bike, mostly just to get to trailheads and stuff for hiking. And then didn't really ride it much other than that and lived in an area where I had a, just an ungodly commute and finally it dawned on me. If I, uh, that was ugly. If I, uh, use the bike to commute, I can split traffic and it cut my commute time in half. So I had 10 years and many tens of thousands of miles of freeway commuting, but no dirt experience. Oh wait, here's the gas station. Do I need gas? 60? Nah, we're good. Come on, people. It is a whole new experience when you come from the road. You do not want to feel your your tires sliding around. If your tires are sliding around in the road, something has gone terribly wrong. And uh, and in the dirt, your tires are sliding around all the time. And that has taken a whole lot to get used to. I suppose the first rule in marketing is you have to have a catchy title. So I try to come up with as clickbaity a title as I could think of. Should senior citizens be riding adventure bikes? Well, technically I get to comment on that because I'm now a senior citizen. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But to the question, should senior citizens ride adventure bikes? Absolutely not. What are you thinking? We're weak, we're frail, we've lost our balance, we've lost coordination, our eyesight's going, can't hear worth crap most of the time. It has nothing but disaster written all over it. Yeah, golfers, golfing. Should have gone golfing today. All right, people, we can go a little faster than this. 
oppose. I'm not sure what they're opposing. I've seen those signs everywhere, but if you're putting up a sign wanting people to do something, your print's got to be large enough that you can see it going by. Alright, and off for some dirt. Got a big old bus back here. We may have to do a very dangerous high speed pass here. Kids, don't try this at home. It's dangerous, they say. Don't ride a motorcycle. Oh my God, you're gonna crash. You're gonna be paralyzed. Why, why would you do such a thing? Am I a senior citizen? Eh, technically, yeah. But I'm a firm believer that you're only as old as you wanna be. And I don't wanna be old. Am I scared of crashing? Sure, I don't wanna crash. Injuries take a long time to heal. I'm a lot more cautious than I once was. Is that gonna stop me from riding? Heck no. You know, there are a couple things that scare me more than riding a motorcycle. One of them is having regrets. Why didn't I try that? I don't wanna have those kinds of regrets when I finally do get too old to safely ride a motorcycle. And the second thing I find scarier is talking to a camera. There is absolutely nothing natural about talking to a camera. I'm not sure I like this. There are a couple of moose. Well, a couple. There's a male, a mom, and a new baby moose that hang out back here. We saw the mom and the baby the last time we were out here. We went, we did some stand-up paddle boards and saw a mom and the baby moose. not bothered by us in the slightest bit. When you're as big as a moose, you can do whatever you want. by a bug. Alright, time for some KLR knee dragging action. <laughs> Fun little ride around the lake. An introduction into moto vlogging. Harder than I thought it was gonna be. And we're 
back in town. I thought I was a pretty good writer. I had tens of readers in my blog. Being able to express myself verbally? I don't know. We'll see. If you're willing, let's give it a try and see how it goes. The worst thing that happens is the ten of you watching stop watching. What's that? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to say, if you like what you see, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and comment down below. I don't know what you're supposed to comment on, but they tell me that's what you're supposed to do. I'm a new guy. I'm figuring this out. Anyway, stick around. Hopefully there's a video number two.